And there are definitely strong feelings on both sides of this today. Uh, the vote last night was five to four, so certainly a divided council when it came to passing this ordinance. Uh, I asked the mayor about that this morning, and here's what he said. I believe regardless of how uh, anyone voted last night, every council member is happy this ordinance is passed. How do I know that? Because all of them have uh, significant numbers of encampments in their city council districts, and all of them contact me every week asking for something to be done about them. The good news is that we now will have more tools to be able to address those calls for action from those council districts. And so the unsafe camping ordinance will go into effect July 30th. That is when officers will begin enforcing it. That's what was decided at last night's marathon council meeting. Encampments will be banned at all times near schools, parks, homeless shelters, and they'll be banned in all public spaces if there are shelter beds available. So people will be given three chances to accept shelter. And if they don't, on the third encounter, they will be arrested. Now, the mayor says they'll be opening up a safe sleeping site in a parking lot at 20th and B Street at the beginning of July. It's been used before for unhoused people. He says the infrastructure is there, so we'll be able to get that up and running in just a matter of weeks. And it will provide space for 136 tents. Also, the mayor says the O parking lot near Balboa Park will open up sometime later this year, adding 400 or so more spaces. Uh, now, we're also hearing from those disappointed by last night's vote. Alliance San Diego, a group strongly opposed to the encampment ban, uh, who is concerned that there aren't enough beds, released a statement that reads in part, quote, we applaud the council members, Sean Elo Rivera, Monica Montgomery, Kent Lee, and Vivian Moreno, who understood the information before them, heard the voices of housing experts and unsheltered community members, and voted against the ban because it was not a plan. Now, it went on to say that these council members acted in good governance and centered on human dignity, which is uh, what we need from all elected officials. Father Joe's also released a statement basically saying that having enough shelter beds is really going to be critical when it comes to uh, enforcing this ordinance. Uh, we will have both of those um, statements posted on our website, cbs8.com. Kelly Hessel, CBS8.